Today I'm going to show you how to automatically send alerts to ServiceNow using Prism Pro's XPlay. Let's start from the Prism Central console. We need to go ahead and navigate to Playbooks, which is where we can set up the automation rules for XPlay. The first thing we need to do is create a playbook. Now let's go ahead and pick the trigger. We want to pick the new Alerts Matching Criteria trigger, which was introduced in 5.17. The alerts matching criteria trigger can be applied to all alert policies with the specified criteria or specific alert policies. And once an alert is generated for one of these policies, it will be triggering this playbook. For our example here, let's go ahead and apply this to all alerts. Now it's time to go ahead and add actions. What we'd like to do is go ahead and search here for the ServiceNow action. Now we can go ahead and choose if we want to send it directly to the ServiceNow instance or to a mid server. But for our use case here, let's go ahead and send it directly to a ServiceNow instance. All that needs to be filled in is the instance name, the username, and the password. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one more action. We can go ahead and look here at what kind of communication actions we have available. We have email and, oh look, let's go ahead and choose Slack. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in the token, the channel name, and a quick message. In this message, what I'm able to do is click on the little parameters link down here and I can fill in the alert name. And now I can receive a Slack notification telling me that this alert has been sent to ServiceNow. And now all that's left to do is go ahead and name this playbook. We can just say send alerts to ServiceNow, enable it and save it. The playbook's enabled and ready to run now, so all we need to do is go ahead and trigger an alert to see what this would look like. I have a little tool here that's going to help me simulate a VM memory constrained alert. It looks like the alert was generated successfully, so now we can go ahead and take a look at Slack. We can see the Slack message come in with the VM Linux memory constraint has been generated and sent to ServiceNow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ServiceNow. We can go to the events table and look right here at the top we can see the an event was created for the alert that we generated on that Linux VM. And here we can see some of the details and using the event rules in ServiceNow we were actually also able to generate an alert in ServiceNow. We can quickly click on that alert to go ahead and see the details. And it's that simple. You can see it took us only three minutes to go ahead and set up the workflow and test out sending alerts to ServiceNow.